Hey everyone, my brother and I just dropped a new EP with songs that sound like this. So you should go listen to it on all streaming platforms now. It's called We Can Figure Out the Details Later. I know you're sitting there and you're asking yourself, why are people so intimidated by me? They're so afraid of me because I am a ow. They're so afraid of me because I am a red, white, and blue-blooded American. And listen, I know what you're thinking. What's so scary about an American? And when did you become so patriotic? Well, I'll tell you. I have a new coach who's been teaching me what being American's all about. And I've, I've had a change of heart, okay? Is that so crazy to believe that I've had a change of heart? Can guys like me not have changes of hearts? We're changing change in hearts. Everything in my room is red, white, and blue now. Huh? Oh, huh? Yeah. Huh? I'd like you to meet my new friend, Christian Walker. He's an American. What's not the love? Huh? He is a free speech radicalist, which is what I am now, because I believe in the First Amendment. Ever heard of it? Hmm? Are you jealous? And he has a podcast called I Am Uncancelable, which I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, you know what? No, I am. I'm uncancelable. Um, <laughs> whatever. I'm back. I'm back to the old, the old room. Before we keep going, I got a PO box. I forgot to ever mention it on this channel. People have been sending me packages, and I've been opening them up on twitchtv green. So if you want to send me a package, se send it here. Write that address down and send it here. The first thing I want to bring up is one of his Instagram highlights. It's called Caramel. Some people say caramel, some people say caramel. It depends on where you are. Why do people get so upset when people like me, free speech radicalists, want to say words the way we want to say them? Had to get another coffee today because my coffee this morning sucked. Okay, a little scared off the bat, but hey, I trust Christian. I trust what he's gonna say. Not gonna judge anybody. Let's keep it going. And lo and behold, I look in the window when I'm paying for my drink, and a BLM mask is making my caramel macchiato a liberal. Just screw the drink up, liberal. Just screw it up like you always do. Do his eyes look like they're like computer generated onto his face? They sort of look like he's a deep faked face where the eyes aren't really going anywhere. They're not really looking at anything specifically, you know what I'm saying? Also, what is this thing with people using very obvious filters on their face on Instagram? I don't think it's a bad thing if it's very subtle, but he looks like he's he's pasted a whole new face over the top of his. Can I test this on myself? I'm sure I'll look fairly normal. The, I don't have freckles. This is not how I look. It looks like I've been at the beach. Hold on. I got a caramel macchiato today and it freaking sucked. If I put my eyes like this, I have, I actually learned how to do the thing where one of your eyes goes in a different direction. Christian's getting his caramel macchiato and it sucks and lo and behold we have a liberal making the coffee Le leftists can never get the caramel drizzle right on caramel macchiatos they either don't put enough or if you ask for extra they put so much you can't even drink the freaking drink that's what i've been saying for a long time is that leftists can never get the caramel macchiato drizzle right and that's just like a policy position that i've taken in my politics if you're a leftist you simply do not have the motor function possible to correctly do the caramel macchiato drizzle and that's kind of how that works when it comes to politics, some people care about, you know, what's going on in Afghanistan. Some people care about health care. Some people care about, you know, climate change. Not enough people are talking about how leftists can't do the caramel macchiato drizzle right. And that's kind of what's worrying me when it comes to our country and where we're headed. You know what? I've about had it. And I'm just going to say the big elephant in the room. Don't say it. There's a huge work ethic difference between liberals and conservatives. Honestly, there's a huge work ethic difference between leftists and classical liberals and conservatives. Classical liberals and conservatives, happy to do their job, happy to earn, you know, mm. happy to do the work, yeah. just happy to have work and earn. Leftists just throwing crap together, think they're owed everything, entitlement. Do your job and get the Carmel drizzle right. Oh! Christian, as much as I'd love to agree with you, um, if you're going to go to Starbucks, a place where it costs $5 to get your caramel macchiato, and you have someone who's getting paid $9 an hour to make your caramel macchiato, you probably shouldn't complain if they mess it up a little bit and it's not so perfect for your perfect little filtered lips. Why is he looking at me like that? You can't go somewhere where the place 
doesn't give its workers enough money to actually put in the effort and then complain when they don't put in the effort. You're going to a Starbucks. You get Starbucks out of it. Just drink the coffee. And also, how do you know if that person's a classic liberal or a leftist? I don't think the BLM mask stops at classic liberalism. Christian has deduced that anyone who is a classic liberal or a conservative does not agree with the Black Lives Matter movement. And that, you heard it right from the caramel macchiato drinking horse's mouth. So as you can see, Christian Walker is a political, I don't wanna say activist, cause he'd probably be upset if you used that term. Um, but he sits in Starbucks drive throughs and complains about politics. And I think that's about the extent that that goes. I believe he's the son of a NFL football player. Zooming with TikTok's right-wing pundit, Christian Walker wants to be the face of Gen Z conservatism. I'll just say it right now, before we keep going, Gen Z conservatives do not like people like Christian Walker. They're all frat boys at colleges. Those are your Gen Z conservatives. You really think that they're gonna vibe out with the guy who's yelling in a Starbucks drive-thru about his caramel macchiato? Christian Walker is a junior at UCLA and the son of Hall of Fame football player Herschel Walker. And he opened TikTok to find his account with more than 400,000 followers has been suspended. Oh no. So Christian Walker, who's going to college because his dad's a multimillionaire and can afford to send him there, is complaining about how leftists don't actually want to work for their money and don't want to actually grind to get to a, to a higher level to be able to do the work that gets you where you want to be, blah, blah, blah. But he's just sitting in a Starbucks drive-thru because his job is just yelling into his camera. Let's take a second and talk about the sponsor for this week's video, HelloFresh. Guys, as good as I am at cooking, I hate it. I take forever to find all the ingredients, I forget to buy something and have to run to the store, and it always ends up taking me three hours because I can't focus. HelloFresh comes in and basically saves my life. They cut out all that stressful meal planning and prepping so I can just open a box and get to cooking. It only takes about 30 minutes or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. The meals really help with my work schedule routine because once I finally get a break from all the gaming I'm doing all day, I can immediately get to cooking so I can eat and get right back to gaming. And the meals are so delicious. I made these citrus pork tacos that quite literally knocked my little socks off. Finally, HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients means there's less prep for you and less wasted food. So if you guys want to have the same experience I did, go to HelloFresh.com and use my my code Nick is not green 14 to get 14 free meals, including free shipping. Okay, go to HelloFresh.com. That's code Nick is not green 14 for 14 free meals. Let's get back to the video. I think what pisses me off the most about our current situation is it's always the people who look like they had McDonald's five times that day that are worried about everybody's health. You're worried about everybody's health when you had a Big Mac three times today? Please. This is like that Twitter meme where it's like, people on Twitter just try to make up someone and then get mad at that person. It's not an argument for you just to say, everybody who cares about people's health looks like they ate five Big Macs at McDonald's. You're just coming up with a random character and then deciding that that's who you're gonna get mad at even though they don't exist because you wanna prove a point. This is the next leader of the Gen Z conservatives. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I personally don't think from what I've seen from Gen Z conservatives that they're gonna be that cool with this guy being their leader. These are the kind of people that they yell slurs at, not who they rally around and agree with because they got the caramel macchiato drizzle wrong. Well, I'm a little confused because day one of Pride Month, Starbucks started hanging the rainbow flag. It's July. Where are the American flags? Where are they? You were up. You know what, fine. We'll talk to the manager at the drive through window. Oh, uh, yes, we will. Because you were all about visibility and inclusion during Pride Month. Well, I feel included and visible under the American flag. Where's my flag? I think the difference is that we're all, uh, we're all American. We all live here. We don't need to put up the American flag everywhere we go, because we're here. We're here. I, we're all visible because we're in America. So we'll play the game at the drive-thru and we'll voice our concerns to whatever representative is speaking at the drive-thru window. If this is what you wanna play, I feel included under the American flag. Guys, I feel like I'm not being seen because they won't put up my human flag. We should have the flag that has a human on it because I, cause I thought this was about visibility and I'm Christian Walker and I need to complain about something. I deserve to be included. I'm a Starbucks customer. Hang the American flag. You listen to me and you listen to me clearly. This is like embarrassing. This is, this is a new level that I didn't know Christian could, uh, 
could rise to. Oh my gosh. It's our Independence Day. Put up the American flag. The American flag is for every single American. And I'm not liking how exclusive you are. Maybe not all of us, even if we like men, identify under that flag. I identify as an American. Where's my flag? Finish. Done. Done. We'll talk to you at the drive-thru. We will be talking to you at the drive-thru. And you best believe it. Done with you. I thought you were all about diversity, leftists. I thought you were all about inclusion. Well, the American flag is for everyone and that one's not. Where's the inclusion for everybody else? Even if you claim for that to be satire, it, it goes so far around up Christian's ass that it becomes embarrassing for him to even be joking about that as as aggressively as he is. That hurt the watch. Woo! Pride Month is almost over! Yeah! Get rid, dump the rainbow flags and bring in the American flags. It's July 4th. It's time to bring the country back. Imagine being so mad that people want to put up a rainbow flag that you make a video in your car screaming about how excited you are for those flags to be taken down. The same people who are all about the First Amendment, freedom of speech, but the moment that you want to put a flag with more than three colors on it in my face, I'm gonna have a meltdown in a parking lot. <sighs> I didn't know. I can't see that many colors without having a breakdown. There's too many colors. They represent too many things. I can only do three colors at once. The rich need to pay their fair share of federal income tax. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna watch a rich child make a comment on whether or not rich people should pay a fairer share of their taxes. Let's see what he has to say. The top 10% is paying over 70% of federal income tax, sweetheart. So how about you stop smoking weed on the couch all day and you go get a better job? Stimulus shopper, stimulus check acceptor. I don't care if you're getting a stimulus check. I really don't. People need help. But what you're not going to do is sit here on the couch all day eating food because you're home because of the pandemic. We have another instance of someone making up someone, making up a type of person so they can complain about it. Apparently taking a stimulus check is bad because your place of work refuses to to allow you to work and refuses to pay you. So you decide to accept money from the government. That's not a good thing to do according to Christian. Apparently you're just hoarding the money off the stimulus check, which was what, like a couple thousand dollars? Apparently that's enough money to live off of and you don't have to work. The argument that taking the stimulus check incentivizes people to be lazier is kind of a joke because all that that stimulus check does is maybe pay off two months of your rent and then you're still back where you started because the pandemic lasted for a lot longer than that but hey we're not we're not gonna bring in real logic here today sorry i didn't realize that i was trying to actually argue against this guy who was trying to get outrage clicks so he can make money off of his dad's fame and you know complaining in his car, I guess, is his job. And everyone else is lazy, but his job is to be an influencer by complaining in his car. No, yeah, that makes sense. No, that's cool. I love this like nice little picture of him. It's his eighth grade photos. And then the comment is like, critical race theory is a partner in crime with BLM. It teaches us to place people into groups and judge them based off a factor they cannot control. Come over, we'll order fried chicken and talk about how, oh yeah. No, I don't know. Imagine complaining this much about the statement that Black Lives Matter. This is his whole identity, fighting against an organization that says his life matters. As a black conservative, liberal Democrats are a bigger threat to my life than a white supremacist, mainly because liberal Democrats are the white supremacists. If you're calling me a traitor to my race and trying to shut my speech down simply because I don't subscribe to being a victim who needs your help, you are a white supremacist. There's studies that, that prove that white people have a higher privilege over people of color. You can't just look at your own experience as a kid who grew up with a rich dad who played in the NFL and then say that you, you know, pulled yourself up by your bootstraps and made it happen because you worked hard enough. Welcome back to BLM is a bunch of BSLM. This is a segment we did all summer every Monday during the ghetto BLM terrorist attacks. So I wanted to survey the area and analyze any updates. How much are they paying you, Christian? No, Christian. Christian, how much are they paying you in there? Are you okay? Being racist towards white people is just regular racism. Christian wonders why the media won't talk about him and let people see his perspective. 
It's just because he's annoying. He's so annoying. Anyone who yells that much in their drive through about things that no one actually cares about. Do you really look at these videos and think that any of those right wing pundits, any of those old white men on Fox News would want to hang out with you, Christian? Conservative women have bigger balls than liberal men. Imagine if every post from some leftist political activist was just something about how leftists are better than conservatives and every comment was like, conservatives have small balls and leftists, they have big massive balls. Their balls are huge. I've never seen someone talk so little about actual policy and complain so much about invisible people that don't exist. I love white whites. Nice. White people are nice. White people don't deserve all the crap they're getting. Fragility isn't a thing. Just because you're white doesn't mean you're a racist. People should be nicer to white people. White people deserve protection too. You shouldn't be bullying white people just because they're white. That's the same thing people used to do to black people. White people shouldn't be segregated from black people. This doesn't happen. Is Christian living in another country where white people are being segregated from black people and they're not being allowed in certain places and they're being yelled slurs at them because they're white? Can you show me what country that's in where you're afraid to go outside because you're white? Can you show me? Are you living in the, uni the US of A, Christian? Hello? If you disagree with the last TikTok I just posted, you're probably suffering from white people derangement syndrome, meaning you're a little racist against white people and you need to figure that out. And you probably think that it's okay. No, no, no. I'm racist against white people. We will win by the end of this period. End of discussion. Build the wall. Such an interesting guy, you know? It's such a mystery to me that someone like this exists. Community, do you understand that? So I'm not saying any word. I'm not. St you, stop wondering. You know exactly who I'm attracted to. I'm not going to say it because it shouldn't be a conversation. The conversation should be my character. The conversation so I didn't realize that Christian Walker wasn't openly gay, I guess, because he knows that if he admits it, that his own base will probably turn against him because they're all college-aged conservatives who make fun of the same exact type of person. And why does he put the butterfly? You can't talk about something super serious and then put the butterfly filter over your face. It kind of... You kind of lose me there for a second. White people are people of color. Stop trying to marginalize their voices. Stop trying to silence white voices. White voices matter. White lives matter. White people are people of color. So stop excluding them from the frame. Oh my. Father's lives matter! Bring them back! Did he say father's lives matter? He's certainly got a style of dancing. He, he has one, you know? He has a style. Oh, let me explain the left versus the right for anybody who's unfamiliar. The right, we're gonna find you a job, you'll provide for your family, you can earn, you can spend, consumption. The left, everybody's out of work, everybody's poor, no gas, shortages everywhere, and Joe Biden yelling at you to put your mask on. Now, what do you prefer, left or right? Right, I'd like to earn, I'd like to spend, I'd like to live a normal life. Oh, and then another thing we're out of in the country, we have a shortage on chickens right now. Is Joe Biden racist? Is he shitting the chicken supply? Because I eat fried chicken a lot? You heard it here first, guys. Joe Biden, he's racist because of the because there's a shortage on chickens. By the way, anyone who's wondering why I have a Joe Biden uh, stand up in the back, I don't like Joe Biden. Someone sent it to me as a joke, but I mean, you gotta admit he's cute. Look at him, look how small he is. Give him a little kiss. I've had enough.
Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please smack that subscribe button. Ring the bell too. You know what you know what you you know what to do. All of my socials, I'm gonna be linking them below. Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, Patreon, the Discord, the PO box, all down below. Please listen to the new music I have out. It's a good old time. I had a good time making it. And you know, stream stream it up. That's what they say about music. This week's Gamer of the Week is Nope Nope. If you'd like to be the next Gamer of the Week, leave a comment down below. Have a good week. Bye. Casey Kai Guy, Melissa Kelly, Marlene G, Evil B, Sarah Ali, Valerie Evan, Michael Ashley, and Faye, Alex August, Bella Izzy, Neil, I'm seeing Gabe. Thank you for your support. Thank you to the tier one and two patrons Listen to my new EP It's not as bad as this Trust me Okay, bye